Hey, what is up, you guys? It is your boy Insanian, and welcome back to this brand new reaction video. So, today we are going to be reacting to Red Velvet. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys requested this, so here we are. Yes, you guys probably are thinking to yourselves, Lucas, you have seen this before, haven't you? Yes, I have, uh, but it has been quite a while ago actually from the startup of my channel back then i could not make videos longer than 15 minutes because i wasn't part of the youtube community but now i am so this video is actually kind of fucked up and just stupid throw it out the bin i still want to keep the video because it's authentic and you can see a progress and development in how th how things have changed and such but i didn't really value these songs because i was new to k-pop so I didn't really know what to check out in terms of K-pop and such. Now I learned way more because of you guys. So, I would like to check out these two songs again. Not gonna put in the title, first time listening, because honestly it's not. But it has been quite vague and I don't remember anything actually, because I didn't really put any value into it, but I learned to grow a love for K-pop. Uh, so, you know, why, ch why not check it out? The first one is called Psycho. That one is sitting at 319 million views, was published on the 23rd of December 2019 and has 5.8 million likes. The second one is called Bad Boy. That one is sitting at 347.6 million views, was published on the 29th of January 2018 and has 3.8 million likes. And the last one is called Queendom, which is one of the most recent ones. That one is sitting at 92.9 million views was published on the 16th of August 20, 2021, 2016, and has 2.6 million likes. Uh, by the way, SM Town is a great channel for me to react to. I have a lot of stuff there. I'll also do some more NCT and such, and uh, let me know, guys. Make sure to follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And that's pretty much all that I had to say. All right, just came home from college. Hella early. Have to go to college soon after making this as well. My free time just goes to making videos. I have a love for it. And uh, I got myself some coffee, guys. Without further ado, thank you so much for listening, and let's get right into this. Psycho. Oh, she's sweet, but a psycho. And look what she's right, though. Is that the thing? God damn it, Adam. I know that the chorus is going to come right now. I think so. Could be wrong though. Gorgeous women. Gorgeous women. I mean, I see five women. That's enough for me, in my opinion. I think a Twice and a lot of other K-pop groups have a lot of members. And I think that, you know, they don't stand out. I've talked about this before. But yo, this instrumental is going crazy. <laughs> These instrumentals, I can hear like... It's everywhere. Everywhere. Very nice. Plus, the song is hella popular. 5.9 million likes. Do you know how many people that are? Jesus Christ. <laughs> High notes.
interesting, in my opinion, because these uh, melodies that they're singing right now, actually, this entire song is really original. It stands out from a lot of K-pop songs that I listen to as well. Uh, yes, of course, it's about love, uh, but in a different type of way as well. By the way, the term psycho, which could be interesting for you guys. Uh, Norman Bates from the movie Psycho. That was the first and really known psycho who uh, actually normalized that word. But uh, there's a lot going on and maybe some subliminal stuff that I may not be getting. And sometimes I'll be interpreting things. I say this a lot of times. When I interpret something, I don't mean factually. I think of what I think this, that the song is about, you know? When I see this, I think of uh, the rise of industrialism, you know? When even uh, women had to work in factories and even kids to maintain a wealthy balance, you know, besides men. Uh, I think of that, but I, th I think that also it has nothing to do with that, and I'm just talking gibberish, you feel me? So there are answers in my head that still need to be solved, that's why I want you guys to inform me a little bit more about Red Velvet, about what the song is about, because I always look at my comments and they cheer me up, plus they inform me a lot, so thank you so much if you do so. Intricate melody. These instrumentals. <laughs> Crazy. Psycho. Now who is she? That's my bias in Red Velvet. <laughs> Who is she? Jesus, the way, the way that she came in with, don't look back. Now, I'm, I'm not I'm not looking back, I'm looking straight at you. <laughs> you beautiful woman, I love beautiful woman. That sounded really perfect, I'm sorry about that. On a respectful note, on a respectful matter, just because I'm single, so boy, I'm the price as fuck. Ah, I love making you guys uncomfortable. Anyways, anyways, there's a lot of uh, there. There is literally a lot of artistry in this song, and I appreciate it only for that. Let alone the rest that they're doing. It's really fucking cool to see. Plus this musical musical transition right here. Uh, I really like that when there's like a build up in the song, and then suddenly you have some breathing time because there's like a switch, and. It's, yeah, it's like an unusual switch because you don't really know what's about to happen. And then you hear it, and it sounds very, really pleasant to your ears, and then you're like, wow, this is actually really good. And that's what I'm getting from this. I love that. I just absorb and into like multiple butterflies. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of subliminal stuff going on, but overall, this song is very nice, very nice. Though, you should not be a psycho. 
because that is usually not a good thing, especially not in a relationship, could end up in a toxic matter. And plus, if you can't breathe without a person, then whew, you have some serious problems. Daddy issues. Shh. That's not good for you. <laughs> that was like the cringiest thing that I ever fucking said in my entire life. But, uh, yeah, don't be that. Independent people are the best type of people, in my opinion. Anyways, bad boy. Have I listened to this? Yes, I have, but it has been so fucking long ago that I don't really remember anything about it. Only thing that I rem remember about bad boy, I thought, is that there was like uh, some visuals with a glacier or, a, or an iceberg or something. Some snowy situation. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like their instrumentals. Alright, no subtitles guys. One more time, that was really clean. Did you guys see that transition? Different camera position. Oh my god! <laughs> if there's an Asian woman, then please pick me! <laughs> no, please don't. Yes, please do. Wait. I'm okay right now. I just need some breathing time. I just... Listen, listen, listen. I may come across as a fucking weirdo right now, understandable, you know, but... You have to understand that it's difficult for me to watch this with a straight face, not seeing these beautiful women and not really mentioning it. You know, I see beautiful women, me likey, you know, so it's quite difficult for me. Hope you guys understand. And uh, I'm going to be looking up the subtitles or the lyrics at least after this one. <laughs> Fishnets. Magnifica. Ah, oh, shit. This is a bug. What? My god, my god. I understand why this has so many views and likes. Like, come on. Did I like the other one, by the way? One, by the way, let me first. Red Velvet Bad Boy Lyrics. Plus, let me just go back to YouTube to check out if I gave it a like. Otherwise, that'll be really stupid if I did not. Alright, better, better. Um, the English translation, please. So that I can get a better understanding. Um, who that boy, who that... Who that boy? That sounds like a Tyler the Creator. See through the crowd that uncoherent, unconcerned look. I like that. It excites. It excites my curiosity. Oh, chic style. Nothing as if he didn't care about what they were. A different accent. I like that. You can turn your back on me. He's different. He makes me smile. You know, I've been hot lately. The way you look at me, you feel it. Come with me as if you were possessed. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh hell! All of you, soon soon. Don't come so eat. See? It's not funny in there. Let's push and pull. I'll get started. Bad boy down. Hmm. 
some questionable lyrics some 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 uh, some some questionable lyrics uh you know what it is about these type of things it is pretty fantasy like or at least in my mind maybe i'm just deranged deranged as fuck i mean i admit it but um yeah it is kind of fantasy like plus like i said gorgeous woman this this beautiful uh these beautiful visuals actually plus i really enjoyed the instrumentals it's like like something wavy is about to come up and then you hear that clip and ju it just repeats itself on loop and that sounds so nice so it's like if you combine everything that i just said and what you can see as well all together combine all the ingredients you get the perfect recipe to viral videos like this i totally understand uh plus fit fishnets fishnets are kind of uh, i like fishnets they're just kind of uh, you know <laughs> This Hot Hot as shit, I'm not gonna lie Stop being so pretty! <laughs> ah, add it to my playlist, baby. This shit is hot. This shit is hot. My coffee isn't hot anymore, though. Let me just uh, finish my coffee. Joe Goldberg approves this song. <laughs> It's even laid back! Bro, make me feel hella insecure with this gorgeous woman. I can't, I can't sip too much, only Jisoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, with the lyrics, like I told you guys, it is quite, uh, quite interesting. <laughs> but yo, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Actually, imagine if there were like there was like an alternate universe where um, uh, Ariana Grande could be able to speak Korean, and they and she would collab with this song. Then uh, I think it would have been a perfect match, honestly. I like that song a lot, and uh, let's check it out, uh, you know, if they changed a little bit with their style, if it's still the same, you know, let's check it out. I've never listened to this one before. Ooh. So, what? You're telling me that in a sewer? There's a sewer, and the, and the air... <laughs> There's a lot of CGI going on right here. So the air, there's a guy walking from a view above, and you know, an AirPod falls see-through <laughs> through a. It just goes. I don't think that that's how a sewer looks like, though. But uh... oh my 
god, I, I, there are definitely some easter eggs. If you're not sharp, you, you can't see them. Please. If that's how a sewer looks like, I'll visit it 24-7. <laughs> God damn it, fuck off, Ad! Oh my god, I'm feeling this already. I'm getting some form of energy. Yeah? Yes! This is cool, this is cool, this is cool! I saw some teleportation. If there's one superpower that I wish that I've had, teleportation. I don't care about flying. I know that what my bitch has is about to fly. Motherfucker will hunt me down and kill me with a bazooka or with a fucking sniper or a rifle or AK-47, you know? I'll be shot dead. Teleporting. You can escape any bad situation. You you can get almost shot to that. But wait, I can teleport. I'm right behind you. I'm gonna shot you. I'm, I'm gonna shoot your ass, you know? Or just... Teleporting is like the best way. You don't need, you don't need a fucking plane anymore. This, the best superpower ever. Being invisible is something that's also good, but I think that really teleporting is the best superpower ever. Anyways, my ADD brain really has to watch this clip right now. I can't be talking too much. This is way too cool. Come on. It's so dreamy. Listen, I've studied biology and <laughs> who am I kidding? I'm a certified pervert. I'm sorry guys. Now listen, there's there 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 are differences with being a pervert, you know? Um you have perverts who literally har harass women on streets, and you have perverts who just uh you know are really weak when it comes to seeing these type of stuff. I'm number two. I'm really respectful when it comes to women. I'm not objectifying anything, I'm, I'm portraying their attractiveness and sexiness. But I think that people really take it out of context or just don't have the intelligence to realize that, you know? But yes, I do admit that it does uh, make me feel some certain type of way. And yes, I shouldn't really say these type of things, but yet again, I want to be authentic and real with you guys. Why, w why would I have a filter? This is not really a family-friendly channel. And even if you're nine years old watching this, welcome to the channel. <laughs> They know exactly what they're doing, I'm sorry. This is hot! What the fuck is this type of world? It looks like a real. Ooh, it looks like I'm tripping on shrooms again. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm all drugged out and I'm in this sort of fantasy land where <laughs> it's like they visited Teletubbies and rearranged the entire place. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let me picnic with you girls! <laughs> fuck you, Storm! Put my hands up! Put my hands up! Put my hands up! Put my hands up! You gorgeous woman! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so weak!
I enjoyed all three of their songs. And if you don't believe that I respect women, I've made an entire thesis three years ago about feminism in total, written in English. If you want to uh, see that, you know, I can maybe put the link in my description. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, but yo, uh, Red Velvet is amazing. Shut the fuck up. They're really amazing. They have a lot of classics under their belt, I see. Uh, one of the most successful K-pop girl groups, I think so. Yeah, I think so, most definitely. Also, judging by their views, uh, their likes. I think their influence in general. They're consistent of five girls, right? Mm, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, and if you ask me what song I enjoyed the most, I'm hesitant. I think... Probably... Probably Queendom, actually. Pro probably Queendom, because I guess it's more house-like, but also more upbeat. And uh, it has like a certain type of energy, but really gets me through the day. You feel me? So for my personal taste, I think Queendom. Anyways, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. And if you did so, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, please subscribe. Become an Insanian today, because your boy does post consistently. My name's Insanian. I hope you guys have a great day. And what I will say to you is...